Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Martin and uh, today we are going to talk about, uh, let's say, the IELTS speaking part, the speaking module, and uh, we will be practicing some topics, for example, of part one, part two and part three, and uh, I'll give you my feedback and uh, some vocabularies. Uh, so uh, let's begin, let's get into it. First of all, uh, our first topic is um, holidays. So as you can see, our first question is, what kind of holidays do you like? So guys, remember that most of the students, most of the candidates, they do or they try to make it more complicated. They overthink, over talk about the topics, for example, let's say answering the questions. They try to show off their, um, their vocabularies or maybe all the grammatical structures, range and so on and so forth that they, they know. So don't do that. That's not important. You have to be simple. Think simple. Answer the questions directly. For example, what kind of holiday do you like? You say, I, I, I try to avoid tourist traps. I don't like them. I like to get away from it all. And I prefer going somewhere very far. And uh, let's say last year I had a holiday of lifetime and a two-week wildlife safari in Kenya. So whatever you, it comes to your mind, you just say it. Remember that you are being tested for your English-speaking ability, okay? And not about your knowledge of holidays. Try to be simple in part one and try to be short. Don't answer the questions, for example, let's say, a very long. But let's say the second question is like, what do you like to do when you're on holiday? So you say, well, what do you like to do when you're on holiday? So don't, 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 for example, let's say, make it complicated for yourself. Don't show yourself by using, for example, complicated structures and verbs and so on and so far. Uh, so just say it simply like, I enjoy visiting the local places of interest. Uh, I like to go sightseeing. I always sign up for guided tours. And uh, it's a chance to be shown around, for example, let's say, take photographs and so on and so far, guys. So don't, uh, let's say overthink, just make it simple. Do you have many tourists in your country? They say, yes, of course. So first answer the question, yes. Why? Because it, it shows that you understood, for example, let's say the question, okay? Understanding is also important. You're being tested for your speaking and at the same time, understanding in this part. Most of the candidates, they, they get confused. They get, for example, let's say, uh, panic when they, uh, reach part two. Part two is generally, guys, a, of course, it's tricky, but it's very simple. Try not to think too much. Try not to, for example, memorize uh, what you say to that, like kind of answers. Okay, there are many websites. Of course, this one is also a model answer I'm, I'm showing you here on my screen. But don't memorize this. It's just an example. You try to do what you try to be very honest and say whatever comes to your mind. Describe a beautiful place once you visit it. Be genuine, be original. Okay, why? Because the examiners are, uh, they're trained to spot memorized answers. Okay, you won't uh, get any number for the memorized, uh, what do you say to that answers or maybe sentences and so on and so far. So try to be as simple as possible and try to be yourself genuine and so on and so far. So let's read this one. A few years ago, I went on a, long weekend holiday to abc place it was very it's a very popular um, holiday destination okay as you can see here i have marked and bold some of the words related to holiday long weekend youth hostel breathtaking views picturesque villages hosts of tourists to go out of season local crafts short breaks stunning landscape and so on and so forth try to use some of the collocations you mean like for example let's say um some some phrases okay in order to show the examiner that you have got good vocabulary skills and at the same time wording system now let's move on to part three remember that part three is a kind of discussion okay like it's like a debate part so you have to expand or maybe extend your your answer into two to three or maybe four it doesn't matter whether you speak like for example the number of sentences that's not important, okay? Have to show yourself that you have this ability to debate, okay, to, to have a discussion about a specific topic and try to use 
vocabularies. Remember that in speaking, you are tested for four things, okay? Fluency and coherence, okay? The second thing is lexical resources, the vocabularies, words that you use. The third one is grammatical range and accuracy. And the fourth one is pronunciation. Now, pronunciation doesn't mean that you speak, for example, let's say, British accent or American accent or, you know, or maybe, for example, another accent, okay? Be, be concise, be clear. And that's all. So this one was about the holiday, as you can see. And um, please write your comment if you want the um, handout, for example, let's say, of this test and the vocabulary part and so on and so forth. I can send it to your email or just write, comment your email address or maybe just write me there and I will send it to you. Uh, thank you very much for your time and uh, see you in our next video. Have a nice time.